Hi, this is Attila, and this is a Battle Group Guide for Steel Division Normandy 44. In this case, this will be a Battle Group Guide about the 17 SS Panzer Grenadier. This is a battle group which is uh, kind of good at uh, supporting other battle groups uh, or suppressing the enemy under a lot of artillery fire. Uh, also, it's a bit limited in terms of air capacity. Uh, in terms of tank, it's uh, actually pretty good. Uh, the tank are, well, they are Stugs, so strong front armor, but not uh, as good as a Panther, but still. A good diversity of infantry and a good amount of recon, but uh, I think the main strength of this battle group is really its capacity to use. Uh, uh, anti-tank cannon and artillery so let's get on with it uh, so in the recon tab I actually used uh, all of those uh, recon units for phase A because they have a vehicle which has a good anti-tank gun now let's see this has 8 AP power which is kind of good you can actually destroy a tank with this and they are very mobile on road and off road compared to other units also you carry uh, two soldiers for recon purpose. I decided not to bring any other type of recon for that uh, phase A. Uh, here you can see different other options, but in my case uh, for the phase A, I only bring these. Phase B, I bring similar type of recon, but this one has a vehicle uh, with an auto cannon and a machine gun so i guess uh, it's more oriented toward uh, suppressing light vehicle and infantry and that's it for my recon tab infantry tab so i bring one group of uh, Ferrer, so leaders uh, for the first wave which bring me uh, three of them uh, these are i'll use for different purpose supporting my initial uh, push so one group for that i use another one for probably boosting my anti-air uh, efficiency with the experience and uh, my anti-tank uh, capacity as well so three should be enough if you don't uh, waste, waste them then i bring those uh, stub troop uh, which are a good all-around unit uh, they are a bit short range compared to a panzer grenadier but uh, they are ideal to uh, intercept tank and fight enemy vehicle uh, in towns or that kind of stuff so two group of them then i bring some panzer grenadier these will uh, suppress the enemy and they will also uh, potentially uh, be a good unit to push forward then i bring an mg42 that's a uh, a uh, very good unit uh, to suppress uh, the enemy in towns or prevent an enemy push and uh, suppress uh, while your grenadier push forward then i bring a bunch of pioneer uh, they are not so expensive and they are effective at uh, defending in town fighting in town uh, with a very heavy explosive then some additional Panzer Grenadier for Phase B and some Sturm Pioneer which are specialized flamethrowers are perfect for town and forest. So that's it for uh, the, the infantry. Uh, then when it comes to the tank I bring uh, the Stug 3 F8. This is a very good unit at the beginning because you have 14 uh, armor piercing and 8 in uh, term of frontal armor. So that's really good. Then that's for phase A. Phase B, I bring two command vehicle with char Panzer IV. So very effective at boosting your other Stug, which are stronger than your first variation. So these are Stug IV. And uh, you actually have 12 front armor, which make them very effective while having 14 AP power. So that's kind of effective as well against enemy tank. It's a bit the... Uh, they are a bit slow and they can be exposed on the flank, uh, but for uh, an exchange against other tank, uh, if you're pushing forward, these are good. I, I bring one group um, for phase B, which has uh, one experience, while uh, phase C, I have uh, two stars of experience. When it comes to support, I bring one group of... Uh, uh, trucks for the supplies and then another group at phase B 
Now you can see here you have access to different type of units, but for this deck I did not find them that useful. So I decided not to use them, but feel free to do so if you feel like it. Okay, when it comes to anti-tank, this is really a place where this uh, battle group shine. It's really good against uh, tank for defensive purpose or even slow push forward, I guess. So I bring one group of Panzer Shrek at the beginning, so this way I can deploy them ahead of my force and potentially uh, ambush the enemy tank. Then I bring some Pack 38, uh, useful at the beginning also, and uh, usually the airstrike will kill them, but whatever. Then I bring for phase B uh, some Pack 40, a bit stronger than the original uh, Pack 38. Uh, uh, 15 armor so that's really good and then I use the pack 43 88 very powerful unit I use one with um, uh, one star of experience while the other one has uh, two stars of experience and that should be effective at dealing with uh, nearly everything the uh, allies can throw at you so that's kind of good. And let's move on to uh, anti-air. So here, this is a bit of a place where this deck uh, or this battle group doesn't feel that strong. I guess uh, what you can do here is uh, perhaps bring uh, these uh, anti-air or one of these. But at the beginning, you will be weak against plane. That's why in my case I'm nearly not concerned by that at all for phase A. And I only bring anti-air on phase B. So I bring that type, uh, so the type 10 on 4, a uh, good HE power. And here you have another one which has 12 HE power, so that's even better. And uh, these actually are able to kill stuff. And for phase C, I bring uh, the 7 on 2, and this has even more HE power and longer range, so that's kind of good. And uh, if you uh, if you use an officer with them or a, a command vehicle, you can really make them much more uh, uh, powerful. And you will need to bring supplies because uh, it's clear that the enemy uh, will attack you with air units because that battle group is not that strong against uh, air. Okay, when it comes to artillery, uh, this is certainly one of the strongest uh, battle group uh, artillery wise. So at the beginning you can use pretty much uh, all type of artillery and here this is really up to you. Uh, in my case I'm the type to push forward and this is why I'm choosing to make a deck like this. So I use a mortar uh, 41 millimeter, and this is a practical to push forward early on because that has a fast rate of fire, it's not that expensive and you can have three of them. And if you don't bring them early on you can bring them later on and this, they are still useful. You can also make a smoke screen and that kind of stuff so that's useful. Uh, well, here I'm using actually three uh, of those Aftrak, which can call artillery strike from off map. And uh, this, some people might choose different options. And actually, uh, I encourage you to try it out. The different options, for example, these Nebel FR41 are really strong, while these uh, FK18 can be very numerous and strong in the long run. And um, that uh, other mortar is also very powerful. Really good stuff. So th these guys are really powerful. And here you can have some very long range artillery. I think this is probably one of the artillery which has the longest range. So that's good stuff. And you can have plenty of these. And uh, if you play a defensive game, these are really good. But in my case, I'm more the offensive type, and uh, these vehicle with artillery or this vehicle with artillery 
is much more effective for the purpose uh, uh, of the way I'm playing. Uh, it's like with these you can actually call many artillery strike at the same time which will fall where you want them, where you know there's enemies while the other type of artillery are, will be slower at destroying the enemy uh, well, but on the other hand the other type of artillery uh, will uh, have much more ammo if you resupply them S but in my case what I like is to have uh, an intense and effective bombardment when I need it and uh, that cover a wide area so these are really powerful and to be honest uh, I will even say that currently they are a bit too powerful uh, we'll see how they will balance this out but currently I find that very effective okay airplane so for airplanes I'm actually using uh, only sea wave uh, planes because uh, uh, these Stuka are actually amazing at destroying every tank and the bigger the target the better nearly uh, They are very deadly, but super slow and uh, The thing is that I find that the other Stukas here They have bombs they are dive bombers, but so far they really don't seem effective at all uh, against anything I don't know if that's uh, a feature or problem with balance currently but uh, the, they just are not up to it so I use uh, those um, actually these are not Shilka but Stuka yeah yeah so I use these and I find them very effective later on when you need to destroy tanks at close proximity of your troops I don't use the rockets one because uh, I find them to be uh, not that powerful and uh, yeah the fighters there are too few unless I will change everything for fighters I guess that could be good but uh, that's really up to you in my case the way I'm using it currently it's okay in 10 versus 10 if you play a smaller map perhaps you will need to adjust this to more fighters or whatever because this deck is really uh, weak against air and here I'm using some GU88S which have big bombs that's a good thing and uh, yeah two of them so that's four of them so four of them here as well and also I guess uh, the way I use this is very late uh, hopefully we will have a reduced amount of enemy fighters otherwise uh, you at least deploy a large amount of anti-air and that can provide an adequate support for these uh, planes to pull back essentially so that's it for this deck and uh, I will make uh, videos where I show this in action and uh, I'll see you there